What's up, Libra? Welcome to my channel, guys. Thank you so much for being here. So this is going to be your weekly love reading. This is for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Thank you to all my subscribers. I love you guys. You're great. All right, so if you haven't yet subscribed, please consider doing so. Cost you nothing, and it means the world to me. It keeps me motivated. All right, here you go, guys. Six of Spring, first card out. Six of Wands. Nine of Autumn, Nine of Pentacles, Two of Summer, Two of Cups, Libra, Two of Freaking Cups, Balance, which is Temperance in this deck, King of Winter, King of Swords, Ooh, and the World. All right, let's do it. So Libra, you guys are coming in this week in the Six of Wands energy. Everything else here can be for you, the person you're dealing with, your circumstances, whatever. All right, so with you coming in in this Six of Wands, Six of Spring, this is like a lot of attention, a lot of recognition, a lot of confidence. It's like you being in the spotlight. So if you're a single Libra, you're probably getting like so many people hitting you up. If you're like online dating, on social media, if you meet people that way, I mean, I think everybody kind of does right now, but whatever. Um, this is like you being in the spotlight, you being in the public eye, you might be like some kind of public speaker or something, something that gets a lot of attention that, you know, gets you noticed. Definitely feeling confident and victorious though. Two of Autumn is the Two of Pentacles. You might have so many people that you're dealing with or interested in you that like, um, you're trying to keep everything like up in the air and in balance. Like you might be juggling a lot of things. It could be that you're somebody that just has a lot of responsibilities as well. King of summer, king of cups. You could have a water sign here, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Um, either way though, this is you taking on this energy, very emotionally mature, um, compassionate, like emotionally available, trustworthy, you know, um, it's the kind of energy where like you follow your heart, but you're not like ridiculous, dramatic about it either. Very devoted. All right. So this is either you taking on this energy, being like at the top of your game emotionally, like really emotionally intelligent, um, or you're dealing with somebody who's in that energy. Oh, let me see what else. So you've got two Kings here so far, King of Cups and King of Swords. How about that? Your energy and a water sign. Um, doesn't necessarily have to mean that you're dealing with a water sign though, obviously. Recent past, you have the Nine of Autumn, which is the Nine of Pentacles. So Nine of Pentacles, you know, single lady shit, male or female, doesn't matter. But it's not the kind of energy where like, you have to be single. It's just getting to a point where like, you're cool being single. Um, either you or the person you're dealing with, hopefully you're both that way. I mean, I think that that's kind of how you have to be to be in a healthy relationship. You have to be okay being on your own. I think that's the way it works in my world. But um, yeah, it's being good on your own. Being good on your own, it's, it's, not, it's not needy by any means. It's very independent, like being okay being alone so that you can be in a relationship or not be in one. Totally up to you. Not necessary for you though. So now in your present, here's this Two of Summer, which is the Two of Cups. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Um, obviously, soulmate shit, we have a ton, but this is definitely one of them here for you. Um, this is somebody who like mirrors you. You guys have a lot of balance, a lot of harmony, and you've got two twos here. I wonder if another one's gonna come out. Let's see what else we're gonna get on this Two of Cups. Eight of Autumn, Eight of Pentacles. So it's working on that partnership, that soulmate relationship. Oh, and the Hermit, Virgo. Maybe you're dealing with a Virgo. Huh. Let's get another one. Maybe 
you're dealing with somebody who's pretty introverted, one of you might work a lot. You've got that two of pentacles, which can um, indicate having like multiple jobs, having a lot going on in your life as far as like your work, your finances. And that eight of autumn can be workaholic energy. So somebody might be like real like um, introverted kind of in themselves, maybe because they're working a lot. of wands Aries Leo Sagittarius hmm and the Queen of Pentacles Virgo Taurus Capricorn so you've got Virgo back to back here guys um also Taurus and Capricorn but whatever so there's there's a thing here you have this soulmate around you whether you know it or not again we have a ton what you do with it's on you you don't have to do anything with it if you don't want to um, but you have a soulmate connection here, but there's a lot of somebody kind of staying to themselves to prepare for the future, to kind of like figure out what it is that they want their future to look like, maybe like waiting. You guys could be at a bit of a distance from each other, but if that's the case, it's not going to be a huge issue. Um, and you definitely have a person here that is trustworthy, that's dependable, stable, and is looking for long-term commitment. Your potential obstacle is the king of swords, which is your own energy. So it could be that, you know, you're like getting in your own way, um, trying to be too head over heart, too uh, logic minded. It could be that, um, which I get like the whole way. Um, this is kind of like my energy 24 seven and I'm not an air sign, but I would just say, Hmm, I'm going to get another one before I fucking say anything. How about that? <laughs> Let's see. Why is King of Swords here as an obstacle? King of Swords reversed. What? You could have another air sign that's kind of problematic in your love life. You could have somebody that's like real cold, real detached, or you could feel like you need to be that way. Um, if you're somebody who's got like a lot going on, in your life as far as your job you know if you're working a lot nine of autumn can also be like a business owner so if you've got a lot going on with your job you might feel like you kind of like don't have the time or energy for that but you know maybe it's you that needs to be in this hermit energy and just work on whatever it is that you're working on and get that out of the way so that you can so that you can move on so that you can look towards the future as far as your love life is concerned there's definitely like a communication thing here though that might be a problem. Whether it's somebody just not communicating effectively or somebody not saying what they mean or just being like a real unemotional. And I'm not sure which one of you it is because we've got the King of Cups here. So somebody's being like real straightforward emotionally and somebody is just not. All right, in your future, you have balance, which is temperance and Sagittarius. Let's see what this is all about. Princess of Spring is the Page of Wands. And the nine of summer is the nine of cups. Awesome. Okay. So in the future here, we have balance, which is temperance, Sagittarius. Um, this is about having patience, not rushing in. It's like you, this is going to be a very balanced connection for you. If you choose to deal with it, you have the two of cups, you have temperance, um, you guys will mix well together, but it's going to require some patience, some time. There's a lot of alchemy here. So this is about you taking like the negative in your life, turning it into the positive. It's very grown. It's very Zen, um, but it's also not fast at all. Like it's really like, it's a process. 
Um, and then you have the page of wands here. So it's after this period of like inner harmony, outer harmony, whatever, um, on both of your parts, you have this page of wands, this like new communication, new offer. It's very fast. It's very hot. Like probably it's going to come across kind of, you know, sexual, um, probably going to start off that way, but that's not all it is. Um, because we have the nine of cups here too, which is wish fulfillment. It's, you know, all the happiness. You're only one away from that 10 of cups, which is like the whole deal. So let's see here. So like there's this new communication coming in where it's just somebody, I don't know, telling you that they're into you, whatever. And it's actually like gonna, it's gonna make you really happy, potentially from a Sagittarius. Oh my gosh. Right as I said, potentially from a Sagittarius, I pulled a fucking temperance card. Sagittarius again. Are you serious right now, Libra? Oh my gosh. So heavy on the Sagittarius in this reading and Virgo. Um, wow. But again, with this, like you guys are going to mix so well together. Like this is really fucking cool really. Now I'm just repeating myself, but let's get another one. The sun, no way! Libra, shit! Can I just have this reading, please? Can I just have it? The sun, the fucking sun, the happiest card in the deck. Everything's out there. Everything's clear. Everything's known. Could not be better. Could not be better. It's like all this patience, all this growth, all this like emotional maturity. Um, it's paying off. It's like, it's putting you exactly where you want to be. You've got the fucking nine of cups with the sun. Like this is amazing. Um, what else was I going to say? <laughs> what the fuck else am I going to say? I don't know. I'm like blown away. All right, let me get another one. Strength could be a Leo. Again, with that, it's like you having the courage to like still engage in this type of a, a connection, um, even though there's this energy of feeling like you need to be really smart about it, really head over heart. It's like having the courage to put yourself out there, to allow yourself to merge with another person in that way. And by living like your yourself, you know, like your inner world and your outer world match, like you're living like your actual self, your actual being. Um, it brings in this whole wish fulfillment. It's divine intervention too with uh, temperance here twice. Oh, it's amazing, amazing. And with having the sun and strength here too, this is probably something that's gonna pop off in the summer. All right, your advice is the world, the world, a whole new cycle for you, Libra. You are leveling up clearly. It's a successful completion. Um, you completed this journey. You're starting a new one. Let's get one on that. What is it that you're starting? The three of spring is the three of wands, which you have in this reading too. It's looking towards the long term. Um, again, it's patience. It's patience, but it's with an eye toward the long term, towards stability, towards that four of wands, which you know is 11-11, Mayor ceremony, soulmate shit, whatever. All right, let's get another one. Again, with the world and the three of wands there, guys, that's a lot of travel. So you could be meeting this person through traveling, or again, they could be at a distance and you could be traveling to them or them to you. Oh my God, and the eight of wands, another travel card. Um, it's also a lot of communication, but it's not just communication, it's action as well. It's a lot happening really fast and you could be somebody who has like a fuck ton of options. I think I said that in the beginning with you being in that six of wands, getting a lot of attention from people. Um, but it's, it's not just, it's not just talking. This is a lot of doing and it's a lot happening real fast, but one of you's in that hermit mode right now. So one of you still kind of like processing after that though, like it takes the fuck off. All right, let's get you some romance oracles and then I'll get your energy with the different signs. Let's, I want to see how Sagittarius shows up in that. That's crazy. Crazy, crazy, Libra. All right. What does 
labor need to hear. Guys, if you haven't already, make sure you check out your entire month of April readings. Um, there's a general where we talk about everything that isn't your love life. And there's also a specific singles reading for the whole month. All right. What's up, Libra? What's up with ya? Playfulness. To recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. All right, new love, a new person has stirred your romantic feelings. Okay. All right, let's do this. I am so excited to see how Sagittarius comes out in this part. Let's see. Here we go. Libra dealing with Aries. The star reverse. They've got some unhealed issues here. Um, and they feel kind of hopeless. Libra and Taurus. The chariot. So if you're dealing with a Taurus, um, this, is, this has massive potential to move forward. This is victory, success. Um, if they're at a distance from you, not going to be an issue. You might even meet them that way through like travel or something. Libra and Gemini. Ten of Swords, that looks to be done, done, or they're going through something major in their life and they're just going through like some kind of crisis. Uh, Libra and Cancer, the world reverse. They feel like they have unfinished business with you. Libra and Leo, Knight of Swords, you did have Leo in this reading. So if you're dealing with a Leo, you guys need to have an honest conversation. Somebody needs to spill some truth here. Libra and Virgo, Four of Wands, Reverse. So if you're dealing with a Virgo, which you did have in this reading, there's an issue with the stability there. It is 11-11, but it's reversed. So there's an issue with stability. They might not be able to offer you stability. They might not be ready to settle down. Libra and Libra, the Hangman Reverse. So if you're dealing with a Libra, um, and you guys have just been kind of like watching each other, not doing anything, or one of you has been waiting on the other one. I would expect that to change and somebody actually takes some action here. Libra and Scorpio, King of Swords, which you had twice in this reading. Um, if you're dealing with a Scorpio, you guys have a really intelligent kind of a connection. Um, your communication is really good. Beyond that, I'm not so, so sure. If there are feelings there, they're probably not telling you. All right, Libra and Sagittarius, here we go. Oh my gosh, no way. So you've got the Hermit for Sagittarius, which you had in this reading. So if you're dealing with the Sagittarius, they're just processing, they're going through something. Um, it, it has nothing to do with you, likely. They're going through some kind of a dark night of the soul. And that's why they came out here in the future, I think, and not in the present. They came out here twice in the future because... You had the hermit in the present. So if you're dealing with a Sagittarius, again, I think right now they're going through some kind of a process and they're going to resurface here or just surface in general if you don't even know them yet um, sometime around the summer. All right, Libra and Capricorn. Queen of Pentacles reverse. They are not looking for long term and I don't think that they're all that trustworthy. Libra and Aquarius. Oh boy, if you're dealing with an Aquarius... The lovers, soulmate shit, divine counterpart shit. Libra and Pisces, six of cups. You might have a Pisces that's missing you. Um, you could have a Pisces from your past. Um, if you don't know this Pisces and they're new, you guys probably have a past life connection. Okay. All right, guys. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today. I love you guys. Take care.